I, I hope that tweet's about Dyke. It's not. <laughs> but let, imagine. Uh, here we go. Game one. Kinda Ackerman versus Power Ranger and awkward start already as yeah, Power, Power Ranger, Ranger looks to be a bot, yeah. The respect from Kinda. Oh, doing a little bit of damage there. Not full respect. It's not the same Kinda from earlier. This is the Kinda in the winner's finals. I still don't understand why South America just chooses deliberately to not reset. That's so weird. Yeah, I, I also don't understand. It's like, okay, that's a bot. Just reset. Like, you could have a normal fight for the first weapon. Things still looking awkward for Power Ranger. Like, yeah, he's getting knocked around, but he's also just kind of jumping and fast falling. Yeah, very few attacks coming out whatsoever. That's going to be uh, one of Kaina's easiest first stocks of his life to get off a of Power Ranger here, 45 seconds. Not sure what's exactly going on in this game. We are seeing some more attacks come out from Power Ranger. He's able to get over to a weapon, has a lot of work to go. This is why just resetting the game can be so helpful. Because if you would have done that in the very beginning, we would not be in this spot. Well, unfortunately, now his hands are tied. He's committed to the stocks and this game. He's on the poke. Still has some opportunities. Loves to go for that end sig read. We saw that a lot earlier today. Ooh, nice down sig. Uh, just a gravity cancel end sig just on reaction. Expecting Power Ranger to jump out of that. So one of the last times I saw Power Ranger fighting a Koji, it was Wes's Koji, and Power Ranger was actually a Koji as well. And he was definitely winning the Koji mirror and forced Wes to actually change to several other characters. More than just one, indeed, because nice. he kept figuring those characters out. He does get a stock here. We might see Power Ranger possibly force the Koji mirror match, or kind of may just take this one all the way. I half expect Power Ranger to stick with this Poe. Like, aside from his matchup against Lopez, his teammate, he hasn't really looked to think about switching characters. And so far, the Poe's been doing really well for himself, of course, earning himself a spot in this winner's final. And he's evened it up. That first stock didn't even matter. He's got the lead. That first stock meant nothing. Now, I believe Power Ranger only dropped one game so far today. It was one against Nagi, of all people, earlier in Winner's Round 1. Moved on past that 3-0'd Lopez, then moved on 3-0'd uh, Fiend, and now he is where he is. So he's had quite a record today. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely a whole new Power Ranger and a whole new kind of Ackerman. Both of them playing out of their minds today, but Power Ranger is going to fall. It's going to be final stocks for both of them for game number one. Weapon juggling coming out from Kaina. Actually goes all the way to the far right side of the stage. Weapon spawn should be coming in shortly. There it is. It's on the left. Power Ranger grabs the gauntlets. Nice little jump back from Power Ranger. Knew that he was in that punish position, but relatively low recovery frames on the gauntlets means that he can kind of escape a little bit safer. Goes for the weapon. Toss does not connect. A lot of dashing and jockeying for movement coming out. Spacing extremely important for these two players. I like that kind of didn't take the bait there. Power Ranger threw out just a raw side sig. A lot of times people will fall for that bait and eat an immediate neutral light, but kind of respected it and waited. But Power Ranger gets the read. Double down light recovery. Power Ranger takes game number one. He's been grabbing those double D lights all day. I can't believe the frequency he's getting them. I'm going to have to look to see if there was a dodge there that kind of had already used, or if he was like, okay, he's going to delight recovering me, so I'm just not even going to press the button. His game's over. Definitely happens. We're going to see that replay real quick. There There's it is. There's a dodge. Yep. yep. Usually when you see that turnaround delight, it's a dodge, but I wasn't 100%, but uh, looks like he was because he got that dodge read, and he went immediately. Good good knowledge, again, to go for the double down light, gets that extra damage and that height, and he was like, you know what? I'm not close enough to the, the horizontal kill box. We're going to go vertical with the recovery. And that's the cool thing about him picking that up so frequently is that he recognizes it in like every single instance. It's not like bells and whistles have to go off, an alarm has to go off, a big red arrow goes off saying, hey, look, he used his dodge. It's time for the double down light. He just again? grips it and rips it every time it's applicable. Uh, looks like, again, Power Ranger bot. Bro, just reset has the game, and dude. He's, he's Please. Yo, it didn't matter, though. Last game, it happened, and he lost the first stock, and guess who won game one? Power yeah, but, Ranger. like, why no, go through matter. that? Why it risk that? Just reset the game. South America is just totally built different than any other region. 
You know what? It's it's because they put the keys in the car. They're like, we're we've already put the keys in the car. Ignition's on. All we got to do is gas pedal, and that's what's happening as we're in game number two. Same map picks, same character picks between the two. Double down, light again. into the side air. Man, see, this is what happens when he doesn't end up losing a stock right away because he's disconnected from the game. <laughs> Just a more commanding lead for Power Ranger. Now he's over the gauntlets. You're not seeing the huge gauntlet strings that we're used to seeing for the North Americans. Not even like D-Light and Airs. Really, he's been doing D-Light down air more frequently. Man, his spacing to be outside of the range of Kaina's sword when he has gauntlets in his hands, fantastic so far. He's not getting hit by like any of these stray hits that are just coming out from Kaina. Yeah, especially considering Kaina has that range advantage. Really good movement from Power Ranger. Does get punished there for that Ensig read. He's been going for that a lot, and Kaina's ready for it. Nice to Tommy Matt will lead to the evener. Good spacing from Kaina, that unarmed down light when you gravity cancel it. I mean, even just normally, you're not going to have that much range on it. So he was uh, he was placed perfectly to find the down signature. Power Ranger hoping he can catch again with that signature, catching a stacked Kaina. But he was too far away. Weapon toss goes high just under Kaina. Oh, he's got the spear. Opportunity here. Just going to go straight for the D-Light side air. Power Ranger with a solid lead over Kaina Ackerman. Now, we'll see if this starts happening, but it seems for the most part like if Power Ranger misses, he'll do, immediately, he'll do an immediate jump gravity cancel attack to try to, like, catch the opponent off guard. And we'll see if Kaina can make an adjustment. So one thing, even though we're seeing Kaina really start to pick up these hits here on the second stock, we aren't seeing the quickness and the strong momentum that he was grabbing earlier in one of his previous sets. He was, I believe it was the one against Wes earlier today. We aren't seeing the strong signature reads coming out. With no Sam? Just a lot of hits in a row. He's bringing this one back off of that, going deep all the way to the left side, almost chasing after that weapon spawn. Yeah, I'm not sure what that was about. Didn't really go for the advantage of like, Hey, I'm going to delay the weapon spawn for my opponent or at least get some stage control. Instead, he was just kind of styling. Went for the straight up dodge that time. Power Ranger wasn't in a good spot to punish after that. Still definitely has a lead here. There's another weapon spawn. Gets over the down signature from Koji. Ooh, missed the double swing. Power Ranger in a great spot. Ooh, One more Sayer could do it. Okay, it's just a ground pound. Power Ranger going to take game number two over Kaina Ackerman. He's really trying to keep that game loss low. Already locked in on the Poe. Kaina might be thinking about this one. He did change the skin and the color. He has not changed the character just yet. Ooh, a Cassidy for game number three. No carryover the Koji, but still a level 51, meaning he's put in a decent amount of time onto this Cassidy. And a high dex character. Yeah, okay, that's true. Yeah, we'll have similar stat lines. Who is swapping onto Blasters Three, in two, the year 2021? <laughs> Not very many people. It's definitely a rare occurrence, and it seems like kind of also not really swapping onto Blasters as much as maybe swapping onto Cassidy Hammer. But, ooh, that's a nice read for Power Ranger. Nice four-piece to start it off. Who did that earlier? Was that LX? Yeah, that was LX that did it on the uh, Knicks earlier. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Now you see why he's not playing Blasters. There's no reason to. Punish from Power Ranger, though. Going low goes for a Nair, the safe option. The recovery would have been nice, but still, damage is... Going the way of Kaina Ackerman. See Lasso's coming out. Ooh, that's uh -oh. going to be placed really nice to get that spike over the corner. Not enough to get back. Yeah, well-timed weapon toss. Forced out the dodge a little bit early from Kiner Ackerman, and unfortunately just meant they didn't have as much movement. Now the next weapon pickup, I believe, for Kaina is going to be the Blasters. Grabs him, actually throws out a move this time, and he's going to get punished <laughs> immediately. Power Ranger is mixing up the follow-up off the sidelight right there. Did a sidelight, dash forward, dash back, sidelight again, caught Kaina. He's so good at mixing it up and getting the reads, but Kaina will find the evener with the side sick. 
coming out pretty quickly, hitting immediately to the left side and also a little bit at that 45 degree angle so you can catch a slight aerial opponent with it. Oh, okay. Just going vertical. The juggles back and forth. Almost caught with the unsig. Kind of in trouble. Punish opportunity. Good patience to not go in too early. Interesting, we saw the neutral light come out Whoa. there as the punish on Kaina's landing instead of the delay that could have led into the recovery. Oh, that one's going to cover both sides. Power Ranger was too high, gets the punish and the stock. Perfect positioning from Power Ranger to not get caught up in those blasts from Kaina Ackerman. Power Ranger might just be about to halt all of the progress that Kaina Ackerman has made today. Looks so strong. One of Kaina's toughest sets earlier in the day was against LX. Went all the way to game five. Then he came out Punish. against Wes. That one only went to game four. Is Power Ranger going to take him out here with a swift 3-0? I mean, he is definitely poised to do it. Currently sitting with two stocks to Kaina's one. Kaina's going to need something massive here. In kill percent gets out of the way of the D-Light Sair, but the Sair weapon toss is going to give Power Ranger a spot in the grand finals. What a run. Power Ranger straight have made that look easy. <laughs> he did. Which is crazy, because we are in winner's finals. I, that's what I expected it to be like, West versus kind of Ackerman. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think most people expected uh, that sort of set to happen way earlier. And you got to give credit to kind of Ackerman to get all the way to the winner's final. Again, a guaranteed top three finish. But Power Ranger, I mean, if Power Ranger can do that to kind of Ackerman, I don't know who can stand in the way of Power Ranger right now. Power Ranger is looking so incredibly strong. And now you see we're moving down into the loser's bracket. You see kind of Ackerman.